M0FXP, welcome to my channel. We're going to have a go at sending the Bluetooth APRS firmware from the phone to this 878. So we just do the usual pairing, just go down to Bluetooth, beat, turn the Bluetooth on and pair, just go down, pair, and you'll, you'll get them paired. And then when you've got that, at the moment they're disconnected, so we'll back out. But tap this this OTG file, which I, there's a, I'll put a link in the description where you can just download it. It's OTG, and then we'll just go, let's go like so. Start from the beginning, tap this scan. When I, I, I've tried both, they both seem to work. And you get this ELE come up, look, see that? Now if you look at your Bluetooth, go menu, settings, go down to device info, Scroll to the bottom. So we have to go down with that. And you'll see at the bottom, your look, 10036 uh, and APRS board 104. Well, 10036 is the older version, so we need that to be 10043, okay? And we are E12. So let's just, we've got two options here. Let's try them, one, let's try that one. Then we'll select Bluetooth, and we need to find the file that we just dragged from the program that I'll, the software that I'll link in the description. You could, I just dragged it into this phone, but or you can send it via an email or MSN, anything you like, as long as you can find this file. Uh, downloads, and mine was called the B70, B707 Audi 0043 bin file. And again, that link will be in the description. Now you have to do this before you do the next bit, so do that then click done and then we can now upgrade it and it will send this file it takes a couple of minutes into the 878 and it's at this point because you unless you've done this first you can't actually do the next bit so that you can go if you go menu settings again device info the end goal is that when you go to the bottom you can also APRS board version 1.06 not 4 so that's the end goal. We just let that transfer now. We we'll just back out while it transfers. And uh, the files are on Bridgecom. So we're getting near the end. And then what you do is turn the radio on and off just to confirm. Good look, looking settings that you've got 1043 on there. See that says upgrade complete. Let's turn the radio on and off. And you'll see now just in the corner there, it just about says 4.3. So that's done. And now we want to change this to 106. But now we have to use the code plug on our computer. Okay, at this point, we're going into Bluetooth update mode on the, for the CPS. So you hold down the PTT and the very bottom button here on the side. And turn on the radio and it starts flashing green. You're in Bluetooth APRS update mode. Then back to the CPS. So now it should go in. We just go tools, firmware, icon, open file, and we're looking for that same Bluetooth file. And then we're looking for firmware one. The one we want is 106. So it looks like for the 878 that 104 is the latest one anyway, so we're all good there, but it's, that's the one you want, the BHT board 104. So it's literally just tools, firmware, open file, find that folder, and look for the 104. We've got 106 here, but that's I'm pretty sure that's for the 578. We'll give it a go though. You never know. And that did right. Okay. Well, looks like we've got 106. Let's turn it on and off and see if um, it's in there. Yeah, it stayed at 104. Okay, bye for now. 73.